Diamond Dimes is about a woman named Betty Prime and her husband, Robert, and they have a very simple, pure love. Betty lives in the world of the theatre and Robert has a very mundane, repetitive job. As Betty becomes more involved and more adored, her fame begins to grow and she becomes more of a star. The story looks at how their relationship evolves and how they start to separate and you, you see their worlds kind of become more and more separate from each other and, and their understanding of each other begins to separate as well. The Dark Angels characters and what I've been calling the Bright Young Things characters I definitely see as like a physical manifestation of the feelings that both Robert and Betty are having these bright young things are basically all those positive words, those bubbly feelings that one feels when they're feeling good about themselves and validated. In contrast to that, the dark angels representing how Robert is feeling less and less secure and sinking more and more so that you can get the sense that they're almost like smothering him the more and more as they progress through the scene. It was originally meant to be on stage, but I hadn't choreographed anything. I just had a very clear kind of concept. And then COVID hit before rehearsals had begun. So we pivoted to a film. I think it just allows the audience, it's almost like peeling off another layer of the onion kind of thing. You get in a little deeper. It's always been my aim as a choreographer to immerse the audience in whatever I'm presenting to them. The opportunity to create a film only makes that more possible, to completely immerse the audience so that they can feel like they're somewhere else, even if it's 30 minutes. Or everyone's understanding of the limitations that we have as far as working through Zoom, trying to work out angles and shots and all the rest of it. But we talk a lot. It's just a lot of talking um, and discussing. Storytelling it is everything to me. When I was dancing, if I wasn't presented with a story, I would create one. Wooden dimes. It comes from a saying, don't take any wooden dimes from anybody, meaning don't be naive and things aren't always as they appear. Mm -hmm.